that assumption that we've had, which is that school leaders are experienced teachers, therefore they know enough about teaching and learning and the curriculum and assessment, um, is proven to be incorrect, partly because our standards now are so different from what they were in the 70s and even 80s. I mean, we now, for the first time, are being expected to teach every child, not just those who can teach themselves. You know, I mean, when when I went to school, and and you're younger than me, maybe, when you went to school as well, um, you taught the middle-class kids. Mm. And it didn't matter that as many or more students were failing then as they are now, mm. probably more, because they all got good jobs and a good quality of life. Mm. And now the world's changed, those jobs aren't there, and we're saying we want in-depth, um, rich knowledge, skills, learning to learn competencies for everybody. Mm. And we've never done that before. Mm. Hence the demand for leaders to know more about teaching and learning, to lead and focus that much more strongly. So that's what's changed, and it's a huge change. And I think older school leaders are probably a bit bewildered by it because it didn't matter before.